Hello, you yeah, are welcome to the teacher channel. And uh, thank you very much for listening to the channel. This is the teacher channel. And today I want to talk to us about standard SAD and C4 course. And this is going to be a quick overview. So if this is your first time of visiting this channel, or you have visited the channel before, but you have not subscribed, please, you can do so now. Just review the subscribe button. You can also uh, give us thumbs up, as well as set your notification bell. The agenda for this presentation, what is first aid? First aid and CPR course, the objectives. Who can take first aid course? And then what will be the content of the course? And our training strategies, then we're going to talk about the final exam. What is first aid? First aid is an emergency care in response to illness or injury. It is a basic care given to an ill or injured person before medical help arrives. Objectives of first aid. One, to preserve life. Two, to prevent injury or more injury. Three, to promote recovery. Those are the three objectives of first aid. One, to preserve life. Two, to prevent injury or more injury and three to promote recovery. Objectives of the state course. To empower the participants with the necessary skills needed to respond to emergencies. To equip the participants with confidence, competence, awareness, knowledge and skills to effectively help any emergency victim. So there are two objectives for the first aid and CPR course. One, to empower the participants with the necessary skills needed to respond to emergencies. Number two, to equip the participants with confidence competence, awareness, knowledge, and skills to effectively help any emergency victim. Who can take the first aid course? Who can take this course? Anyone, parent, healthcare professional, non-healthcare worker, who wants to know how to provide basic care to an ill or injured person before medical helps arrive. So anyone can take this course. Parents can take the course. Healthcare professionals, non-healthcare professionals, the general uh, public can take this course. As long as uh, somebody wants to know how to provide basic care to an ill or injured person before medical helps or paramedics arrive. So the course content, uh, usually the content is based on uh, the heart and stroke, uh, first aid, 
reference manual. And as at the time of uh, giving the presentation, uh, the 2015 edition is being used. And that has all the um, contents upon which the course will be based. So let's see the outline of the course content. So the first thing we're going to look at is emergency sim management. This is the foundation of the course. So chapter one of that book, uh, you're going to see every foundational uh, concepts, topics, and definitions. Uh, and it is called emergency sim management. Number two, uh, shock, fainting, and unconsciousness will be covered also. Number three, bleeding and wound care. And then asthma and allergies, allergic reactions will be also covered. Number five will be head, spinal, and pelvic injuries. Then diabetic emergencies, will be the item number six in the agenda. And then seizures, seizures. We're going to look at seizures as well. Then chapter eight, respiratory and cardiovascular emergencies. So here under chapter eight, we're going to look at cardiovascular issues and emergencies and how to provide first aid for them. CPR will be covered under this chapter. We're also going to cover uh, cardiac arrest, heart attack, stroke will be covered as well. And then uh, choking, AED, and other important issues will be covered in chapter eight which will be item number eight. Then number nine item is burns. And there are actually five categories of burns. Uh, we have chemical burns, electrical burns, thermal burns, radiation and inhalation burns. Uh, three degrees of burns will be, look, will be looked at, as well as uh, how to care for each of them. Then child and infant CPR and choking will be covered as well. Uh, secondary survey, secondary survey will be looked into more comprehensively and that will be item number 11, bone, joint, and muscle injuries. Bone, we're going to look at fractures, different types of fractures, dislocation, uh, sprain and strain, and we are going to look at RICE, R-I-C-E, as a guideline to providing emergency care to bone, joint, and muscle-related injuries. Poisoning will also be looked into poisoning. There are different types of poisoning, or poisons, or other different types of poisons. We're going to look at them. One of them is carbon monoxide gas, gas one is a silent killer. We're going to look at that as well. And then uh, 14 will be eye injuries, chest injuries will also be covered. There are also some environmental illnesses and injuries like hypothermia, um, frostbite. We're also going to look at uh, heat cramp, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke, as well as how to provide first aid for them. Lift and carries. There are situations where you know, need to move the, uh, the victim. So we're going to look at different uh, you know, uh, techniques that could be used. Then finally, will be multiple casualty management, multiple. And this topic actually will focus on some of the strategies used to provide a uh, first aid in a situation where more than two people 
uh, affect uh, the multiple casualty management. Uh, our teaching strategies, our teaching strategies, uh, our teaching is based on the multi, uh, principle of multiple intelligences where different strategies are used to ensure that no participant is excluded or left out. So we adopt different teaching strategies so as to involve everybody. In fact, our strategy is best described as all inclusive. So we customize our teaching techniques to suit every participant, all the participants, everybody, nobody is left out. So we adopt different strategies. This one, we are unique. This one, we stand out. This is the reason why we are the best. We use multiple approaches to, to, to make sure that everybody is on the same page, everybody is carried along during the training. Our teaching strategies, the dominant teaching technique used in our classroom is discussion. Discussion, everybody, you know, you are, you'll be meant to engage. You, you, you'll be part and parcel of it. It is interactive. We also use PowerPoint presentation. Um, skill demonstration. So the instructor is going to demonstrate different skills and then you are going to follow uh, what was demonstrated. Um, and sometimes we also show videos. We show videos to press home whatever is being presented. So discussion, PowerPoint, uh, you know, technique in use, demonstration, practical skills to be demonstrated, and also you be part and parcel of that. Before the training, so what will be the expectation from the participant before the training get and read the course manual? So it is very important for you to reach out for the manual, getting it and reading it before the training will give you some advantage. Bring writing materials to the class. So bring pen and paper. Bring them, bring your notebook and paper, bring them and write the materials to the class. Bring enough food, snacks, and drinks. Dress up probably for practice. Watch as many videos from our YouTube channel, the teacher channel, as we have many videos. You can watch as many as possible. So still expectation for the participant. During the training, let your instructor know if you have any health conditions that may prevent bending. For example, um, and you are also expected to participate actively during the discussion and practice. Ask plenty of questions, very important. Ask plenty of questions, take notes, taking notes, very important. About the written exam, the last thing we do during the training, the last thing we do during the training is knowledge test. And this uh, uh, test, of course, is going to test you as the meaning. The exam will be, the content of the exam will be drawn from the course uh, uh, syllabus, everything that is covered. So every chapter of the book will volunteer some questions. Some chapters will contribute more questions. So the exam will test your knowledge of the course content. It is a multiple choice exam. Pass mark is about 70. Uh, 6%. Please go through the practice questions on this channel. So we have a lot of practice questions. 
go through them, answer them to the best of their ability. When you do them, you will have done an excellent job and they are preparing yourself to the final test, which will come um, during the training. We excitedly look forward to your attending our warm, lively, and enjoyable training. Our training is warm, lively, enjoyable. Very, very warm. Very lively, very enjoyable. When you come to the training, you want to, in fact, you want to attend again. You want to go and bring people. You want to go and refer people. So our training is only the best. It is the best. So thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate um, your um coming to the journey and I look forward to seeing you in the class and please remember to uh, subscribe if you have not and if you have thank you very much and give a thumbs up and also share the videos and uh, thank you so much bye for now